Good morning. Hope you're enjoying the snowy morning, snuggled up somewhere, taking it slow and off the roadways because we've been seeing the snow falling intensely heavy this morning. Northwest Rhode Island taking the cake so far. Eight inches of snow in North Smithfield Foster with more than seven inches. Attleboro as of 7 a.m. more than four inches of snow and counting in Providence. It's starting to pile up. We're going to end up by noon today with between five and 10 inches of snow for most of the area, but we've had this very heavy band of snow that has has uh, set up across northwest Rhode Island and bringing snowfall rates of over two inches per hour. And so that region can end up with a foot or more of snow. Now it's a fast moving system. So after 10 a.m. it's already winding down with clearing skies, even some sunshine returning this afternoon. Winds have been light so far this morning, but they will pick up some gusts near the coast between 25 and 30 miles per hour. There's our storm system and has been rapidly intensifying as it's moved to the south and east of our area. As it starts to move away later this morning, you can see that snow winding down from west to east by early this afternoon with just some lingering snow showers over the Cape by this evening and skies will clear out as we head into the nighttime hours. High pressure building in real slow going this morning. High temperatures up into the lower 30s today. Wind chills will be in the low 20s as those winds do start to pick up and you can see the wind chill early tomorrow morning in the single digits tonight. Low temperatures, they'll fall into the teens under mostly clear skies and that fresh snowpack, our three day forecast. Cold start to the weekend near 30 on Saturday. Sunday's highs make it back to near 40 ahead of some rain showers. It'll be moving in with a cold front. Those will uh, look to move in in the afternoon and evening. I'm going to keep you updated on the storm throughout the morning right here on WPRI.com and on Fox Providence.